What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we're back, back like we never out. left. Thank you guys for pulling back up for another movie night. Uh, tonight, we're going to be getting right into it. We're going to be checking out Tom Hanks in Forrest Gump. This is a highly suggested movie that everybody said that we got to watch. Everybody said that we should love it. So we're going to be tapping into Forrest Gump tonight. Yeah, this will be my first time watching this all the way through, y'all. So yeah. I've seen like bits and pieces of it, but I've never sat down and watched I have it. Too. And, and I, I say bits and pieces like my mom would watch this. Like when I was a kid, I'd come in the house from being outside for hours and hours and hours. And she would have this movie on and I would be like, I don't, okay. Why are we, are we watching this? Like Right, so it comes back full circle. Yeah. Comes right back around on you, you so, know? So, yeah, I'm kind of excited to get into it, though. She she would say it was a good movie as yeah. well. So. And, and this is definitely a movie that you guys suggested to us and requested for yeah. a very, very long time. Yeah. So I'm glad that we can actually go ahead and do it tonight, you know? Tap in. So if uh, y'all are new here, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, yeah. smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asian BJ. Tap into the Patreon, y'all. We have all of our unedited, uncut videos as well as our patreon post behind the scenes footage and we just completed our first tv series breaking bad y'all over on patreon so make sure y'all tap in and check it out okay other than that let's go ahead and jump into this video y'all absolutely thank <laughs> yeah. you guys for coming through and uh man we about to get into this forest gump yeah here you go you i am i am ready yeah this was literally like on the list of movies since we started the channel Literally. Yeah. I remember when your mom played when when your mom stayed with us, this is like one of the movies she'd be watching upstairs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I never I, I never just, watched I, I just I just remember that feather. When I when I tell you what part I I remember him sitting at, at on a bench on a he was talking to the lady. That's all I remember. <laughs> I was like, Mom, why are you watching this man talk? To somebody on a bench. Oh, Sally Field. We just watched Sally Field and um, Steel Magnolia. Which one was she? She was the mom of Shelly. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. I feel like this going just how the music is. What? <laughs> I feel like I'm going to get in my feelings. <laughs> one of those heartfelt movies. Oh, my. Shoes are a little dirty. Yeah, but look at the at the shoe chains though. The shoe chains are clean. There he is sitting on the bench. <clears throat> That's like one of my favorite books when I was a kid. Is that was Curious Cu George? Curious George. Yeah. I, I literally would check those books out. At the, at the school <laughs> library all the time. Yeah, they and, are good. And look at and, and watch. Our teacher used to read them to us all the time, too. Watch and read every single one of them. My mom always said, life was like a box of chocolates. <laughs> I That's remember, where that I, comes from. I, re I remember people saying that. Oh, my gosh. Those must be comfortable shoes. <laughs> Why is she not talking to him? I wish I had shoes like that. My feet hurt. I heard your sister girl. I bet if I think about it real hard, I could remember my first pair of shoes. Mama said they'd take me anywhere. <laughs> she said they was my magic shoes. Mama right. said they'd take me anywhere. What's wrong with him? Let's take a little walk around. Oh, he got braces on his legs. His legs are strong, Miss Gump, as strong as I've ever seen. But his back is. Crooked as a politician. Oh. <laughs> we're gonna straighten him right up now, aren't we, Forrest? Says back as crooked what? as a politician. Oh. Mama named me after the great Civil War hero, General Nathan Bedford Ford. Uh oh. He started up this club called the Ku Klux Klan. Oh. They'd all dress up in their robes and their bed sheets and act like a bunch of ghosts. <laughs> He said they ride around like a bunch of ghosts. If God intended everybody to be the same, he'd have given us all braces on our legs. <laughs> She's right. That's her, isn't it? About a half mile yeah. from the town of Greenbow, Alabama. Greenbow, Alabama. His IQ is 75. Well, we're all different. Is 75 low for an IQ for his age? Yeah. There must be something can be done. 
We don't want to see anybody left behind. Is that Mr. Gump? Mrs. Gump? Yeah, he look. He got a little gaze in his eyes. Oh. What is he? Oh. <laughs> what? Well, your mama sure does care about your schooling, son. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> wow. One time a young man was staying with us and he had him a guitar. A guitar. Oh, is that Elvis? Supper's ready if y'all want eight. Yeah, that sounds good. Thank you, man. He that's sounds just he, like him, too. That's what he sounds like. He sounds just like him. Slow down some. Look. You ain't. I like that guitar. No way. I started moving around the music, swinging my hip. <laughs> Look. Me and Mama was out shopping, <laughs> and we walked right by Benson's furniture in a oh, store. Is. It is him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crying all the time. Look how the girl's going crazy. So it's like he taught him how to dance. Yeah. Or he took his dance move. Yeah. I remember the bus ride on the first day of school. Aww. Oh, the first day of school. Are you coming along? Look at the bus driver Honestly, smoking. Not to be taking rides from strangers. This is a bus to school. <laughs> I'm Dorothy Harris. No. Now we ain't strangers anymore. I'm Dorothy Harris. He said, well, we're not strangers anymore. Plates taken. Hold on, wait a minute now. Look at that. Why are they just being mean to him? It's first day of school. Because of how he looks. You can't know. sit here. Aww. Say, boy, if you don't move over. I do remember the first time I heard the sweetest voice in the wide world. You can sit here if you want. <laughs> if you want. I have never seen anything so beautiful in my life. Aww. Oh, you can tell they from Alabama. I'm already loving the accent. Me too. Are you stupid or something? I'm as stupid as a stupid does. <laughs> Jenny and me was like peas and carrots. Look at that. Peas and carrots, yep. I guess peas and carrots go together, don't they? I guess. Mama's gonna worry about me. Just stay a little longer. Aww. Just stay a little longer. <laughs> oh my, wait, 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 wait. Hey, dummy! That was a rock! Oh! oh. He hit him in a... What? Just run away for He hit him. A... Oh! Run for Why he not running? Away. His face is bleeding. Oh my Dang. gosh. Look at this. He got hit in the head with a rock. Run, Forrest, run! Run, Forrest! Well, I'm trying to tell you, I cannot stand a bully. That's so bad, like. And it's all because he's different, you know. Look at his legs. Forget these braces. Oh, look, he just—he done took off. Dang! Oh. Are you kidding? Forget all of that. Look, they just broke off his legs. Wow. Look at him. Look at his face. Look, look. I can run. <laughs> yeah, go. Yeah. Look, he left him in the dust. Look at that. You can't even see him no more. <laughs> Shoot, he gone. Look, he picking the most speed. It don't look like nothing wrong with his back right now. No. Definitely nothing wrong with his legs. <laughs> Remember how I told you that Jenny never seemed to want to go home? Well, she lived in a house that was always Alabama. Her mama had gone up to heaven when she was five and her daddy was some kind of a farmer. She lived he in a house old as, old as Alabama. He was always kissing and touching her and her sisters. Oh, no, he wasn't loving. Yeah, but I see four. I think fours don't really understand, though. Where you at? Look at that. Oh, I see, drinking booze. That's why she don't like to go home. Dear God, make me a bird so I can fly far, huh. far, far away from here. I know what that feels like. She said, make me a bird. 
He had the police say Jenny didn't have to stay in that house no more. Well, at least she got out of that house. Mm -hmm. Jenny and me was best friends all the way up through high school. Oh, wow. Hey, stupid. No way. Dang. Run for it. It's the, it's the same old creep from school. Come on, let's get in the way. The creep squad. Oh, he, oh he, he can move now. So they were friends for a long time. Mm -hmm. That's so messed up. Run, you better hot-tail it. Look at oh, that. he hot-tailed it all right. Right over the fence. He right on the football field now. <laughs> That's actually pretty fast. Did you see that? I got to go to college, too. Shoot. No. Running got him to a lot of places. At Alabama. Wow. Oh. oh. Look, that's the weirdest touchdown I've ever seen. <laughs> you heard what he said? He sure is fast. He said, but he said, but he sure is fast. I ain't even gonna lie. That was an awkward touchdown. I know. I just don't like that they call him stupid. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Coons are trying to get into school. Coons? Well, right, Coons trying to get on our back porch. Mama just chased him off with a broom. Not raccoons, you idiot. Oh. Look, he all in the camera. He just trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah. Jimmy Hood and Vivian Malone. Yep. Had been signed up for summer classes. Mm -hmm. I remember that when they de when they desegregated the classes or the yeah. school system. Governor Wallace did what he promised to do by being on the Tuscaloosa campus and kept them off. Look. <laughs> He part of some important history right there. My bus is here. Is it the number nine? No, it's the number four. She said, it's the number four. Because oh. Jenny went to a college I couldn't go to. It was a college just for girls. Yeah. But I go and visit her every chance I got. So he's talking to everybody that just sits on the bench out at the bus stop. Yeah, this is the second person that came to the bus stop. But the stories just keep going. He's not stopping the story to start over. She just sat down. <laughs> so she don't know what he's talking about. They just picked up talking about George Wallace. Yeah. And then he's talking about Jenny. Oh, she frolicking in the car. She frolicking. A little smooch smooch. Boy! No, he didn't just jump in there. Is oh, he really shoot. punching the boy? Forrest didn't play about Jenny though. He doesn't know any better. She said he don't know no better. Brought you some chocolate. Aww. I'll go back to my college now. So he sat out there and waited for her? Mm -hmm. He was sitting there in the rain? I want to be famous. I want to be a singer like Joan Baez. Jenny a little fast. Fast as a Ferrari. She is in college. Oh, right. <laughs> Reach people on a personal oh. level. OMG. I want to be able to say things just one to one. Look, look at look. Forrest. Look. His hands is moving, fidgeting. He looked like he turned red. Have you ever been with a girl, Forrest? I sit next to them in my home economics class all the time. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Oh, he's a little uncomfortable, right? You can tell like he is such a little like a gentleman to to the soul. Look, look at him. He she did that and he uh Oh. What well, happened? Uh oh. It's okay. Oh, I'm dizzy. Did what I think just happened just happen? But that never happened in home Oh. <laughs> he said he dizzy. <laughs> Look at our roommate. He said, ruin the bathroom. That, it happened. <laughs> That's what I thought happened. That's
They got a sign and everything to tell him to stop. It says stop force. But he playing for Alabama though. Called the All America team, where you get to meet the president of the United States. Or he went all. <laughs> all American. Can you believe that? I must have drank me about fifteen Dr. Pebbles. Oh, look at them Dr. Pebbles. <laughs> look. <laughs> Look at him now. I was just about no. to say, I know he got to use the restroom. I haven't had a Dr. Pepper in years. <laughs> Congratulations. How did How they do, do that? Look at that. <laughs> no way. You got to be kidding me. He's there with John F. Kennedy? How did they do that? When he shook his head, he said, Congratulations. He said, I got to pee. After only five years of playing football, I got a college degree. That's pretty prestigious for somebody that supposedly has a low IQ. Have you given any thought to your future? <clears throat> oh, look, the army. You're not even low like scum sucking maggot. Scum sucking maggot. That sounds about right. Take. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, deja vu all over again. You ever been on a real shrimp boat? No. But I've been on a real big boat. I'm talking about a shrimp catching boat. A shrimp catching boat. I was just looking into buying a boat of my own and got drafted. Mmm, they both got drafted. On a good day, you can catch over 100 pounds of shrimp. Everything goes all right. Two men, shrimp in 10 hours. Let's what you spend on gas. You can be done, drill sergeant! Seems like Bubba, he don't let it go about this shrimp. Shrimp <laughs> stew, shrimp salad. <laughs> Shrimp and potatoes. Shrimp and potatoes. That's that's about it. Oh, he know about some shrimp, all right. And I'd miss my mama, and I'd miss Jenny. You thinking about Jenny? Get a load of the tits on her. <laughs> wow. And <laughs> those aren't allowed. <laughs> what a wreck. Oh, Playboy. Is no that right? is that way. Jenny? That is her. The man who owns a theater in Memphis, Tennessee, saw those photos and offered Jenny a job singing in a show. Some guy. Let's give a big round of applause to the luscious Bobby Dylan. He said a theater. That don't look like no theater. Right. Listen how many times before She has a beautiful voice, though. Mm -hmm. She can sing. Sound like Bobby Ray or somebody. Loretta Lynn. Jerk, I'm singing a song here. Uh oh. See, that's, oh no. That's probably, oh. that's probably like the last place she probably want to be trying to sing a song at. Look at him. Look. Yeah, he just, he just, he just super protective. You know what I mean? Like. I love you. Oh. You don't know what love is. Why would she say that? You think I can fly off this bridge? Oh. Fly what? No. What's wrong with her? I gotta get out of here. I feel like Jenny got some issues going on. It, it really do seem like that. She's so sporadic. It's, yeah. it's like she just goes from one thing to the okay. next. Look how she just picked up hit. She what? just hopped up on a hitchhiker. Just if you're ever in trouble, don't try to be brave. You just run, okay? Just run away. So that's what she's doing. I write you all the time. And if you think about it too, like 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 her upbringing, like staying with her dad and the stuff that she kind of dealt with, and and moving out of her mom, moving out of that house, seems like she had like she do have like some issues or whatever. Yeah. You know. I just would think that she would react different because Forrest was supposed to be. Her friend, like yeah. they were friends. Is oh, he's there now. He's in Vietnam. Oh, that's a jam right here. Red, right in blue. Welcome to Fort Patin. What's wrong with your lip? <laughs> Born with big guns. Remember, remember I said that? Well, you better tuck that in. <laughs> Gonna get that caught on a tripwire. A tripwire. <laughs> He's not right. That's not funny. Try not to do anything stupid. I 
getting yourself killed. That's easy. That would be pretty stupid. Getting yourself killed. That, 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 that probably tops the list of, of being stupid. Lieutenant Dan was always getting these funny feelings about a rock or a trail or the road. So he'd tell us to get down. Shut up. Get down. Shut up. I'm going to get down and I'm going to shut up. Better. I've got 10 clicks to go to that river. Move out. <clears throat> I'm like, I'm just, I'm, let me wait for it. Right. You thought, you thought somebody was about to pop off? I did. One day, it started raining, and it didn't quit for four months. Four months? Sounds about right. Little bit of stinging rain, and big old fat rain. Fat rain? Sometimes rain even seemed to come straight up. <laughs> Look. <laughs> How would you like to go into the shrimping business with me? I'll be the captain. We can just work it together. Split everything right down the middle. 50-50. And hey, folks, all the shrimp you can eat. Mm-mm. That sounds good. And he said 50-50, too. Yeah. I like Bubba. Yeah, absolutely. Because it seemed like Forrest never really had any friends. How I was looking forward to getting a letter from her just as soon as she had the time. Hop on in that window bag, go. Love, Forrest, Gump. Everywhere he so, went, he and, thought about her. Yeah, and he's still, he still writing her letters and stuff, too, all the way in Vietnam. Where does he send them? Ain't no telling. Just like that, somebody turned off the rain and the sun come out. It's about time the rain stopped. Oh! Oh! Oh, look, the bullets are flying. Oh, they take, they taking in heavy fire right now. Oh! They must have walked right into it. Yeah, look, look how, look how they're getting, they're coming up close like that. Yeah, they walk right into it. They launching stuff. They close enough to reach them like that. Oh, he just got hit too. Look how fast Forrest running. He gone. Pretty soon, I was all by myself, which was a bad thing. Oh no. He said Bubba. You saw him when they was running? He ran right by him. Yeah, but, but Bubba must stop somewhere. No, Forrest is just fast. And on my way back to find Bubba, well, that was this boy oh. laying on the ground. Is that, is that Bubba? No. I couldn't just let him lay there all alone and scared the way he was. Look at him yeah. picking him up so I... with all his gear. Wow. Look at that. With the rifle in his hand and everything. Somebody else was saying, help me, Forrest, help me. Ain't that something? Man. Oh! Look, is that Bubba? That oh! Was... Did you see that? That wasn't Bubba, yeah. He had something on his face. There's like three people he done saved already. I know my position is oh, look at his legs. That's Lieutenant Dan. Just leave me here. Get away. Just leave me here. Get out. No way. Wow. Then it felt like something just jumped up and bit me. Oh, somebody shoot him. Oh. Oh, oh my oh. gosh. Oh, that was so close. I told you to leave me there, Gump. Why does he want him to leave him? I do not know. It's like he can't walk, but why would he want him to leave him? I got an airstrike inbound right now. They're gonna nate the whole area. Don't you stay here, God damn it! That's an order. I gotta find Bubba. Wow. You see his commitment and his loyalty. Yeah. It's not a lot of people that's gonna sit there and do that. It's a lot of people that ain't gonna go back to go get their sister or their brother, let alone a friend. You right? know? Okay, boys. Oh my okay. no, not Bubba. Oh. Uh. oh, that's that airstrike he was talking about. Look at that! Look at that! Ooh. Dropping that napalm. And he barely escaped that, too. Uh, it don't look good for Bubba, though. I wanna go home. Oh, man. He died right there by that ribbon bed now. Man, he died. So he had to sit there and hold Bubba while he died. Dang. That's rough. It's time for your bath, Lieutenant. 
Oh. Oh, man. I knew he couldn't walk, but he lost his legs. Oh, my God. That looks so painful. Oh. Bubba died. Lieutenant Dan lost his legs. Look how many people he saved, though. Right, probably four or five people. I just wish Bubba would have made it, though. Look at all that mail. Oh, That's Jenny. his mail. Look at that from Jenny. Uh, no, it got returned to sender. It got sent back. Oh. So, those are all the letters that he wrote her. They all came back. That sucks. That's why I was asking, where was he sending it? For some reason, ping pong came very natural to me. VJ can't play. <laughs> My coordination is a little off. Last time I played ping pong, I did pretty good, didn't I? No. No? You don't think so? No. <laughs> the hospital's people said it made me look like a duck in water. Forrest is actually really talented. He really can do a lot of things. Oh. I should have died out there with my men, but now I'm nothing but a goddamn triple. A legless freak. Look, look, look at me. Oh. I had a destiny. I was supposed to die in the field. Mm. That was my destiny. And you cheated me out of it. Wow. Man, he hurt. Oh. It only have nothing to, it only have nothing to do with his legs. But think about that. He he saved Lieutenant Dan's life though. He he's, he saved a lot of people's lives. Yeah. You've been awarded the Medal of Honor. The Medal of Honor. To men from each of the armed services. America owes you a debt of gratitude, son. Look, there's his mom. Where were you hit? In the butt talk, son. <laughs> I'd kind of like to see that. <laughs> look! Look out! He looking. What? Did he look at his mama looking? It's the second time at the White House. He already been part of a lot of history already, you yeah, know? Yes. The White House twice, the University of Alabama, desegregation, Vietnam. Yep. Not the revolution. <laughs> Not the revolution. <laughs> I like that song too. You're a little hype. <laughs> He's sharp too. Look at that suit. Yeah. He's sharp. Wow, look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what that said, right? The monument. Tell us a little bit about the war, man. War in Vietnam. War in Vietnam. <laughs> Who is that guy? I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. So look, they talking about stop the war, peace. Right. What? Why is he doing it? The other guy was an officer too. Maybe he didn't want him to talk about like Vietnam so the people wouldn't know what's going on in Vietnam or something. Yeah. He pulled out all the, all the wires That's to the like equipment. That's all I have to say about that. No. It probably, it probably was good that they did that. So we wouldn't have to hear what he had to say. He probably would have said something crazy. What? Look, look. That's, that's Jenny. That sounds like Jenny voice. Think of the odds. It's Think Jenny. of the odds of that happening. Oh my gosh, look at that. And look, she in the water running across the water. Look. Oh. That's like something out of a storybook. Jenny and me was just like peas and carrots again. <laughs> I'm glad they're back together. Yeah, aww. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, he's cool. He's cool. He's one of us. Let me tell you about us. The oh, they're Black Panthers. Look, he right in the midst of the revolution. We are against all these races and it's oh. oh, wait, wait. Oh, hold on. Let me sit up for this. Oh you know, no, he did not, not. This is not finna go good did right here. Did you see how big his eyes got? This is not finna go well. Come on. <laughs> oh! He can fight. Force can Ooh, fight, man. I see you, my Mariffio. I just see you. <laughs> you swing.
hang you with him? Forrest can fight. Golly. I bet he won't do it again. Jenny's wrong one you want to put your hands on. Now with Forrest Gump around. That uniform is a trip, Forrest. Yeah, he looks good in it. And he got his, med his Medal of Honor and everything. It would never hurt you. Lies. You should go home to Greenbow, Alabama. Okay. He ain't lying. This is what she need to do. Really? I want you to have this. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Forrest, I can't keep this. No. I got it. Just by doing what you told me to do. <laughs> oh, that's right. You're my girl. Look at that. <laughs> I'll always be your girl. Dang, man. Wow. He is a good man. Forrest Gump is solid. He, he's solid. Look at that guy right there. Forrest, you should jump back on him just, just for look, old time's sake. Look how he looked at him all. Oh. He should clock him again. I don't know why they made me cry. <laughs> he said, you're my girl. I was so good that some years later, the army decided that I should be on the All-America Ping Pong team. Wow. Why not? Why not? We were the first Americans to visit the land of China in like a million years. <laughs> he said a million years. He was in our Look. Head. But all I did was play ping pong. Look at that. Uh, That's I how I was home. doing you. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. They gave you an imbecile, a moron who goes on television and makes a fool out of himself in front of the whole damn country, the Congressional Medal of Honor. Why do you sound like a hater? What happened to Lieutenant Dan, though? Because he didn't have no legs, he spent most of his time exercising his arms. Look at him <laughs> Exercising his arm. <laughs> it don't even look like him at all. No. Suck it. Hey, 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 are you I'm walking, walking. I'm walking. Hey. He's out walking. You can tell that it seems like, or at least it seems like he's changed a lot, like internally. Lieutenant Dan? Mm hmm He seemed angry. Very. He said, God is listening, but I have to help myself. Look at all these bottles. Mm hmm God is listening? What a crock of shit. Wow. Our shrimp boat, Captain. Yes, sir. A promise is a promise, Lieutenant Dan. That's right. If you're ever a shrimp boat, Captain, <laughs> That's a day I'm an astronaut. <laughs> he is not happy. He not even paying attention. So he definitely hates life a little bit, it seems mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. You can tell he's going through like the typical stuff that a lot of Vietnam vets have to come back and deal with. Yeah. Especially like being injured, disabled. Look at this. Uh-oh, he's gonna get it on. Oh, what are you stupid or something? She probably stinks. She probably Don't stayed. Don't you ever call him stupid. Yeah, baby, Look. Get the hell out of here. Goddamn coach. Look, he kicking him out. Get out of here. You freak your eyes. Luca, you freak. Oh. Wow. So much for a New Year's party. Oh, maybe she didn't think. He just, that's not what he wanted to do. Yeah. And ain't, ain't nobody getting laid tonight. She tastes like cigarettes. <laughs> Maybe she did. She too. tasted like cigarettes. <laughs> Maybe she She's, did. He said she tasted like cigarettes. He didn't want to be called crippled. Mm -hmm. Just like I didn't want to be called stupid. Right. right. Yeah. A few months later, they invited me and the ping pong team to visit the White House. <laughs> Third time. Again. <laughs> he said and again. I met the President of the United States again. <laughs> That's a flex right there. Oh, no, 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 no. I know of a much nicer hotel. It's brand new, very modern. Richard Nixon. You might want to send a maintenance man yeah. over to that office across the way. The lights are off and they must be looking for a fuse box or something because them flashlights, they're keeping me awake. You don't know what that is about, huh? Therefore. <laughs> oh, the Watergate Hotel. Uh, yes. <laughs> we'll be sworn in as president don't you? at that hour. And he resigned. Here he is. <laughs> another part of history. <laughs> and he doesn't even know it. Or well, creating history, right? Right. He done, he done called the popos. 
on the president. Right. <laughs> We've had all sorts of visitors for us. Everybody wants you to use their ping pong stuff. Look. One man even left a check for $25,000. Shoot, get that 25000 And of course, I paid my respect to Bubba himself. Mmm. Tell me something. Are you stupid or something? Why everybody keeps saying that? So anyway, I'm putting all that on the brand new shrimping boat. Look at the look on his face when he said that. The brand new shrimping boat. <laughs> look at the boat though. Hey, that's a real shrimp boat though. It is. Look at him. I'd never named a boat before, but there was only one I could think of. The most beautiful name in the wide world. Oh. Absolutely. They got great music in this movie. Oh. Yeah, she just living the fast life. Wow. Look at her face. Look how she, how much she's changed. I feel so bad for her. Right? Oh, look at her. Look at her. She's almost like she emaciated a little bit. Oh my gosh. Don't do it, Jenny. Please, please don't. You're the only friend Forrest got. Please don't do that. No, no, no. Oh. Oh, she was so close to doing it. She almost slipped. Oh, my. Yeah, she's just living a very troubled life right now. Very, very troubled life. <clears throat> is that who I think it is? <laughs> yep, look. Look at that. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, the boat. <laughs> he just jumped off the boat. He didn't throw the anchor down. He didn't stop the engine or nothing. I told you if you were ever a shrimp boat captain, that I'd be your first mate. Well, here I am. Mm. I am a man of my word. Oh! Oh! oh wait, 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 wait. No! He just took out the dock. <laughs> it's my boat. Talk about sitting on the dock of the bay. He even took it out. <laughs> <laughs> he took it out. Maybe they're in the wrong place. No, they ain't in the right. They, they should be in the right place. Or maybe it's not in season. Where the hell's this guy they just, here? They just not having no luck. It's funny Lieutenant Dan said that. Because right then, God. He said, where, where is this God of yours? Oh, God about to show y'all. But Lieutenant Dan, <laughs> he was Do you mad. hear that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you hear no, don't come get me. <laughs> the entire shrimping industry has fallen victim to Carmen and has been left in utter ruin. Speaking with local officials, this reporter has learned, in fact, only one shrimp what year was this? actually survived the storm. Louise. No. Louise, that's Asian. After that, shrimp they, was easy. The only boat. He said shrimping was easy after that. Oh. oh my God! No! They got all the no shrimp because they took out all the boats. Are you telling me you're the owner of the Bubba Gump Shrimp Corporation? Yes, sir. We got more money than David Crockett. <laughs> we were sitting next to a millionaire. <laughs> he don't believe him. And he's sitting out there waiting on the bus. I never thanked you for saving my life. Hmm. But I think he made his peace with God. Mm, absolutely. Wow. He is indisposed at the moment. <laughs> oh, his mom's sick. <laughs> you see and that? just like that. I'm out. <laughs> right. forget, forget this boat. And he ran home. He, he didn't get in the car. He ran home. I'm dying, Forrest. Oh, what? Man. She did say she was sick. I will miss you, Forrest. Oh. And died on a Tuesday. I bought her a new hat with little flowers on it. Look at this. And that's all I have to say about that. I know. Mmm. Right.
Didn't you say you were waiting for number seven bucks? There'll be another one along. Oh, she want to listen. <laughs> so why is he sitting so at the bus stop? Money. I don't know. They got me invested in some kind of fruit company. And so then I got a call from him saying we don't have to worry about money. Apple. He invested in Apple? He said a fruit company. <laughs> he a real life millionaire. I gave Bubba's mama Bubba share. 50%. Wow. Look, oh. oh, she fell out. I probably would have fell out too. I had always think of Jenny. No. No. Oh. Oh, he's thinking about her. Yeah. That's like his first, first love. It's like his only love. Like, mm -hmm. he loves her. He don't care about, about money. He don't, not, materialistic things. That stuff does not matter to Forrest. He just, he just loves Jenny. And Jenny just, just can't get herself together to love mm -hmm. him back. Mm hmm And see, the thing is, Forrest don't realize everything that Jenny been through. Okay, that's not a mirage. That's really her. Hello, Forrest. Hello, Jenny. Oh, my gosh. Look, oh man. Oh, that's such a good feeling. I did all the talking. Jenny most of the time was, was real quiet. Look, they like peas and carrots again, right? Is that her that's, house? Uh, yeah, that was um at the beginning of where she where she was raised, the house. Yeah. It's just the crops and all that stuff is then died and, and everything. Yeah, that's the house. Look how she looking. I bet you she hate that it's house. It's probably just like a bad reminder. Like yeah. a bad, bad, bad reminder. I bet you she, oof, I'd be throwing up. <laughs> or the shoe. So she had to let that out. It was like olden times. We Look. was like peas and cats again. Yeah. Every day, I'd pick pretty flowers and put them in a room for her. Aww. Leonard Skinner. Just for honey. Oh, those are the shoes he have on. He has <laughs> on. Oh, that was dirty? Yeah, I think. They were Nikes. Uh-huh. Will you marry me? You know, let us slip away. You don't want to marry me. Why don't you love me, Jenny? Why does this movie make me cry? Forrest, I do love you. Oh. That's the next day. Where are you running off to? I'm not running. She is though. She's running. Oh, she, she gone. Yeah, she gone. It's like she's running away from love. Look at that. Look. Literally. Just think about how he feels. After she said, I love you. She doesn't know what love is. Right, right. Oh, those are, those are the shoes for sure. The, the shoes that Jenny gave him. Where are you going? Shoot, sure, maybe you want to is, test the is, shoes. Is he finna run after Jenny? I mean. I thought maybe I'd just run across Greenbow County. What? And I figured since they run this far. Maybe I just run across the great state of Alabama. No way. I ran clear to the ocean. <laughs> Santa Monica? That's California. Might as well turn around. Just keep on going. <laughs> no way. Oh, wow. Look, look at him. I see. That is insane. Look at the countryside. Wow. Gardner from Greenbow, Alabama, stopping only to sleep, has been running across America. Why are you doing this? I just felt like running. <laughs> I follow you anywhere, Mr. Gump. So, I got company. And after that, I got more company. Look. <laughs> Here, use this one. Nobody likes that color anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice Going night. places that I've never been. Like, thank you. Some years later, Look at that. No, you kidding me. <laughs> you remember those t-shirts? 
Do you remember those t-shirts? It even has a beard on it. <laughs> no, the, the smiley face t-shirts. Yeah. My mom always said, you got to put the past behind you before you can move on. Right. I had run for three years, two months, 14 days, and 16 hours. Wow. Three years. I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. Okay. We're, I, so just like that. I picked up the mail. One day, out of blue clear sky, I got a letter from Jenny, wondering if I could come down to Savannah and see her, and that's what I'm doing here. Oh, Savannah, Georgia. Henry Street is just five or six blocks down that way. Oh, no way. It was nice talking to you. He been at the bus stop all day. That's where he's going. He's going to Jenny. see Jenny. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Hey. Look how she looks. <laughs> she looks healthy. Look at her face. Thank you. I ate some. <laughs> he's like, I ate some of them. I want to apologize for anything that I ever did to you because I was messed up for a long time and Mm. This is my very good friend, Mr. Gump. Here, can you say hi to him? Hello, Mr. Gump. Oh. Hello. Is that her kid? It gotta be. His name's Forrest. Like me. I named him after his daddy. He got a daddy <gasps> named Forrest, too? You're his daddy, Forrest. Oh, oh my gosh. He said he got a daddy named Forrest, too? That's, that's your son, Forrest. So she didn't even tell him. Oh, man. Look at his face. Yeah, it's okay. Go talk to him. Look it's, it's like he can't even believe it. I can't believe it. Oh, they got a child together. Oh, man. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't either. I have some kind of virus. And the, the doctors don't. They don't know what it is, and there isn't anything they can do about it. You can come home with me, Jenny. You and Little Forest can come stay. Little Forest. Would you marry me, Forest? Okay. He said he's such a sweet voice. Okay. I can't believe that this is happening. I can't either. He has a son, and now they're gonna get married. That's that's Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan. No. Look, look how he's walking up. I got new legs, custom made, titanium alloy. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, this is my Jenny. This is my Jenny. Right. This is like a dream come true. Walking down the same driveway that he used to when she when they were little. But now they got a little forest. Yeah. And this is beautiful. That's beautiful. I wonder what's wrong with her though. Yeah, she said she had a virus. You died on a Saturday morning. Oh. <sighs> I had you placed here under our tree. She died. Look at that, all the birds came. Remember she used to pray that she could be a bird so she could fly, fly, fly far, far away from here? Mm-hmm. Hey, I know this. Isn't that the, the Sixth Sense boy? Don't they look like him? Hey, Forrest, don't. Don't talk to strangers. I want to tell you I love you. I love you too, Daddy. I'll be right here when you get back. That's him, babe. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that the same bus driver? Dorothy Harris or something like that? Anymore Dorothy Harris. Yeah. Forrest Gump. <laughs> He's so tiny. Oh he my is. gosh. He is. He can barely get up the steps. The white feather. 
That's just how the movie started. It fell out of the book when he opened it up. I, I did. I did catch that. You saw that? No, I didn't know where it came from. It came out of the Curious George book. Why was it there? Because he picked it up off of the ground when he landed on his foot at the beginning. At the, at the bus stop. Yeah, and he put it in that book and put it back in his suitcase. This was a really good movie. Oh. oh. But yeah, it, it just like you said, it pretty much ended the same way that it started with that white feather. I wonder what I wonder what's so significant about the feather. Maybe I'm just looking I'm just thinking too hard or looking too far into I it. I think it's like symbolic of like something to do with like people pat something along those lines. I'm not a hundred percent sure about yeah, that. Yeah, just freedom, just, being free. Like some yeah, but I mean like everything that she talked about it, especially with in terms of the bird situation wanting to fly far away from here. And this was such a beautiful movie. You still got tears in your eyes. I know. <laughs> it was. I, I don't even know where to start from it because I just feel like the, the entire story, because, it, you know, I just feel like this is just a story about somebody who everybody looks at as stupid or slow or has a low IQ, but... In actuality, he's he was very smart, very like, smart and blessed too to blessed, be able to do the things that he could do. That is, it's so crazy because everything that you know people just referred to him as being stupid, and he ended yeah. up being you know probably one of the more successful people in his entire town, his the, own city, the state like, of Alabama, the state of Alabama. Yeah. Like it is, it's just it's every God. There's so much to say about this movie. Could just look at it <laughs> and, and just think about the sacrifice that his mom did. You know, for, just so that he could go to a public school because she didn't want him to feel left out or feel special. And then that, that, that ends up catapulting him to go to the, the to Alabama, like the University of Alabama. The state Alabama. Then he went into the military. He had a hell of a career doing, you went know. Went to Vietnam. Military, went to war, all his accomplishments. He the said, Medal of Honor. Yeah, saving people uh, in Vietnam. Yeah, and it's crazy because even those wow. people, while, while he was like fighting in the war, it was like all those people that talk to him the way that they did he saved all of those people's lives like everything that he was able to accomplish like gosh and it's, it's almost like he never got credit for how amazing he was as a person yeah. it, you know not enough other than like what he accomplished he got the medal of honor you know it was like and, and he still wanted to be somewhat normal he still had that normal mindset like i'm not anybody different than the next person mm -hmm. and you can tell like his mom raised him so well like when they showed the part of you know the the black people walking into the oh into the black the school, panthers no into the school and stuff oh and he when, picked up the book. Uh, with the desegregation yeah and it was like he never it was like he wasn't bothered by and it. everybody else was <laughs> like look they letting coons into the school he's like coons yeah yeah he wasn't bothered he, like, he was like i don't see color like you know, and he, the only, just, and he the only person that picked up a book to get to to hand it to the woman. The purest heart. You know what I mean? Like, God, talk about somebody being genuine yeah. and pure and just like a good soul, a good soul, a good human. And then, like when he saw his son. I know that that right there, that, that like that right there, jolted me because that was like a a complete surprise that I never that I didn't think of, but. I guess that happened the night that they, you know, that he had a chance to make love to her. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, man. And, and then, but, but the whole time, it's just it's like, like Jenny, <laughs> it's just like Jenny just kept running from love, like, like real love, true love, somebody that, yeah. that really loved her because she never experienced it in her life. So she didn't yeah. know what true love was. But the entire time, Jenny has been staring love right down in, the, in face the face yeah. every single time <laughs> and he still like waited for her mm -hmm. everything that she was doing all the times he left like she left him and like broke his heart like he still didn't want anybody else but her. his heart his heart never changed yeah. you know his, his heart never changed his he you know his, his, the way that he saw her never changed his heart never withered yeah like any of that and again, just like just think about like all the accomplishments, all the recognition, all the things that he was able to do in his lifetime, not just the things that he's done, but like the places he was able to see, the places he was able to travel. It's almost like, you know, like Jenny was able to travel and do a lot of things from her perspective too, but it was just completely different. From his. It, it was really like ju juxtaposed to what Mm -hmm. Forrest was able to do because like you said wow. he, he got the medal of honor went and saw the president three times, times yeah. again he <laughs> the said, magazines the again. newspapers it was and, like and, and becoming a shrimp boat captain but not just that but 
that literally hit me hit me so hard when he when he, he said bubble gump shrimp because remember when we went to New Orleans we went to some restaurant called, called bubble, bubble gump, gump. <laughs> and I was like no way they got this from the movie like this, and I never even knew that that lets you know how far this movie has reached because I never knew that yeah. Until we, we watched this and movie, you just remind. I didn't even think. And about, New Orleans, You're yeah, right. we went to the we went to, oh we went to the Bubble gosh. Gump restaurant. I don't wow. know where it was at. It was off of Canal Street, yeah, something like in that, in the French Quarter, somewhere yeah. around there. So, that, so that was like super ironic from us watching this movie. That's crazy. But I mean, <laughs> I, I really feel like this is like your consummate movie about love, about like perseverance, about uh, it doesn't matter what you look like or how smart you are. It's really all about like your ambition and. Just being a kind-hearted, uh, a pure human being, you yeah, know? Yeah, because even Lieutenant Dan came around. He was like, you know, the part where he really he thanked that. him and told him, I never thanked you for saving my life. And because, look where he ended up at. Yes, and it was like, ultimately, he ended up coming out on the a, on a best side of himself as well. And it just took time. He had to go through it. And he did. I felt like he suffered a lot of emotions behind it because he... He wanted to die a hero. Yeah. He so, wanted, yeah, he so wanted he to die on the battlefield. So he did have that resentment towards Forrest, you know. Mm -hmm. So at the end, it was really good to see that he had came around, like, smiling. He cleaned up really well. Like, exactly. he looked healthy. He looked like a million dollars. Yeah, he did. Because oh, was he was the one that helped, helped Forrest, oh. like, invest his money. So in, in actuality, um, Lieutenant Dan helped Forrest, like, secure his money and make sure everything, yeah. everything is, like, together. So he could, like, really live the life that he wanted to and just do it. I really feel like like this is like the type of movie that you actually are able to do anything that you want to do in life, and yeah. it, and it just shows you that from somebody going from coming from Greenbow, Alabama, and able to do everything with that the low doing, IQ at, at that supposedly like, with the low IQ exactly. Yeah, and it, and it, my thing is like you know he didn't say much, but he wasn't stupid. He wasn't stupid to mm -hmm. me. Like in my opinion, I didn't mm -hmm. think that he was stupid at all. I mean, maybe he didn't talk to par like everybody else he wasn't as well spoken and spoke out like everybody else but yeah he wasn't he, he was very like to me I, I feel like he he had it very much together it's just that he didn't say much he didn't speak like everybody else did you know even gotcha. when, that, when that principal came out he said you don't say much do you yeah but you know yeah but the truth of the matter the fact of the matter is that he did have a lower iq and he did have yeah, he, was, he, did. And he, and he did possibly have somewhat of a, a learning disability or he was typically slower than everybody else but it the movie just shows you that that doesn't matter in life like you can still accomplish anything that any person in life can do no, no matter where you come from or, or what mm -hmm. somebody's supposedly say your diagnosis is right. and, and i think that, that jenny might she might have passed away from hiv because of like the drug usage and stuff like that. Cause she oh, said she had a virus. virus. And then just think about it, that's like the 80s. You know what I mean? That's probably, you probably right. So that's what I'm I thinking that it might have been. That crossed my mind, but I was like, why wouldn't she have just said that? But I guess, you know, for the sake of her just trying to keep it simple. Yeah, yeah. because of the, 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 the usage and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Okay. But yeah, it, 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 that almost like ripped my heart out when she told him that she had a virus. So and, I wonder if that's the reason she why she called him back. It was. So, to get Forrest back with his dad, like little Forrest back with his dad, because she knew what was going to happen ultimately, you know. She did say that there was no cure for it, so that's why I was thinking that. Wow. Okay. That's why I was thinking that. Uh, so, so that's probably very possible what you're saying. That's the reason why she reached out to him. Was that the boy him. from Six Sense? Did that look like him? Joe Osment? I don't know. I really don't know if that was Joe Osment. Y'all had to tell Osmond. us if that was him. I feel like that was him. You think so? He had the eyes. He had the eyes. He do. He do <laughs> have those eyes. I can't, I can't forget those like, eyes. I can't forget those eyes. Is that the Six Sense boy? Like, I don't know what his name is, but he's cute as he can be, even as a little boy. Y'all have to chime in. Oh, my and, and, and let us know, too, as well. He was adorable. Oh, oh, babe! It was something about this movie that that, that just warmed my heart. It's just, it, this is just Everything like a absolutely perfectly written movie. The screenplay, the Perfect. acting, like everything in this movie is everything that I feel like that it was meant to be. And everybody that uh, suggested this movie, man, great pick, y'all. This was so much more than I I thought it was ever gonna be. I I'll almost, be honest with you. My eyes watered three or four times. Oh, I just There's so many <laughs> different times. My eyes watered when Lieutenant Dan was about to, you know, when he kind of came to. The peace with God, yeah. uh, the thing with Jenny mm -hmm. passing away, well, his see, mom. I feel like I started crying like you did. I, it, about five, six times. Yeah, probably y'all. I could <laughs> even even I can't oh. even, <laughs> I got emotional even after the movie was over. I still was sitting here crying, trying to yeah. trying to get myself together. But this was yeah. such an amazing, amazing movie. I loved it.
I can't wait to watch this again. And, and and just to end it on this note, like you had a chance to see Forrest be such a blessing to so many different people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you even know? going back to Bubba's family. That, he's, he's, that did it for me too, right there. <laughs> to see the face on on on, on Bubba's mama and her to be able to live the life that she wanted to live too. You yeah. know, all the people that he affected. Right. You know, this was beautiful, y'all. Y'all tap in. Let us know what y'all think about this down in the comment section. I know my face is probably a mess now. I'd have cried. I'd cry. <laughs> hey, you got a shoulder to cry on. I cried my eyes out. It's okay. You got a shoulder to cry on. <laughs> if y'all enjoyed this, be sure you give us a big <laughs> thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe. Smash that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. And we're going to see. Look at me. I'm still crying. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> and we're going to see y'all in the next video. Y'all. Peace and blessings, y'all. Y'all take Bye, it easy. Bye, y'all.